Tensions are high across Missouri and the country as cities throughout the Midwest, including ones here in mid-Missouri, await a grand jury decision in St. Louis. Good evening, I'm Daniel Wynn. And I'm Dana Clemens. We have live TV coverage tonight from here at home to all the way to St. Louis as a grand jury there is expected to decide whether to charge Officer Darren Wilson in the death of Michael Brown. That decision could come down at any time. That decision is prompting police here in mid-Missouri to prepare. But first, there are new developments tonight. We start with ABC 17's Dan Messinio live in St. Louis, where Governor Nixon announced today he's creating a Ferguson commission. Dan, this was an executive order. Yeah, Dana, the governor signed the executive order today here at the Missouri History Museum. He was joined by multiple lawmakers. Nixon introduced the commission that he says will work toward building a better future for the city. Shortly after the unrest in Ferguson and the police response to it, Nixon said he would appoint this commission. The Ferguson Commission is made up of 16 members, all from the St. Louis area. Nixon said it's a diverse group of people charged with making recommendations on how to make St. Louis a fairer and better place to live. Because of the most important work the commission accomplishes will not be what is written on sheets of paper or on a website. It will be seen and felt in our daily lives as concrete changes that are brought about in our institutions, our workplaces, our communities, and in our interactions with one another. The commission will introduce uh, policy recommendations in a report in regard to law enforcement, racial and ethnic relations, among other issues. Reporting live in St. Louis, Dan Messinio, ABC 17 News. Thank you, Dan. Governor Nixon says the commission will issue the report in mid-September of next year. And while everyone is still waiting for that grand jury decision in the Michael Brown case, groups in mid-Missouri are planning what actions they'll be taking regardless of the outcome. ABC 17's Heather Horrigan has been checking in with local law enforcement and community activists to see what is planned for the day the grand jury decides. She joins us live from the Second Baptist Church in downtown Columbia. And Heather, people will be gathering there after the decision is announced. Yeah, Dana, this is one of two places where people will be gathering to march once the grand jury makes that decision. The other place people will be gathering is Mizzou's campus. Both groups will be heading to the Boone County Courthouse, which is just about five blocks where I'm standing. Now, those involved in this march include the NAACP, Missouri Faith Voices, African American Clergy Coalition. I talked with some of the group leaders today who tell me they will be marching regardless of what decision is made. There's no way of doubting uh, the, there will be uh, rage and hostility uh, and uh, the, the, the concern for leadership, be it youth leadership, uh, clergy leadership. We all are, are ch trying to find a way to place that rage in a, in a way, place that rage in a place that can be managed. Now that we do know there will be some type of protesting in mid-Missouri following the grand jury decision, I checked in with local law enforcement to see how they are preparing. The Columbia Police Department says they are counting, uh, they are continuing to train as they always do for events related to civil unrest. The Boone County Sheriff's Department tells me they have been meeting with CPD and Highway Patrol, planning for the worst and hoping for the best. The Cole County Sheriff's Department did not want to talk publicly about what plans they have in place. Now, Kenny also tells me there are several churches around mid-Missouri that will open their doors once the grand jury makes their decision so people can come in to vent and pray about the decision. Reporting live in Columbia, Heather Horgan, ABC 17 News. Thank you, Heather. Tonight, community action groups are meeting to decide what steps they'll take after the verdict. We'll be there and let you know what plans are made in our evening newscasts.